Hey everybody, welcome to Goshen Prepping. Inflation, it's starting to smile. What we mean by that is, of course, we saw a huge, huge increase in inflation and it started going back down a little bit for the summer and now it's going right back up again, making a smile. Doesn't make you smile, obviously. But here's the thing, typically we see higher prices and inflation occur during the summertime and summertime's coming to an end, no matter how hot it is in your neck of the woods. So with this, as we're heading into fall, inflation's going up even more. We're heading for a very difficult fall and a very difficult winter because of this. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? So I found an article is showing seven things we're seeing inflation going up on. And there are certainly lessons to learn about this article, by the way. Stick through this because you know what? There's things we can do about this. It's from an investment website called Geobanking Rates. These seven grocery items just became more expensive due to inflation. Number one, grain products. Global conflicts, especially the war in Ukraine, they are a major exporter in grains and oil seeds. It significantly impacted the cost of grain products. Cereal and similar products have seen a whopping price jump of 10.7% in the last year. And yeah, we've been talking about this one. We've seen shortages because of this. And I will tell you the first thing off, grains and oil seeds are things you probably shouldn't have in your diet anyway. We're going to see these common traits throughout most of this list, by the way. But you know what? I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to tell you what you should eat, what you shouldn't. I'm simply just giving you the news as far as what kind of shortages and inflation price jumps we're seeing. Frozen fruits and vegetables, an 11.8% increase. And pay attention to this statement, making those quick and convenient meal additions a bit pricier. Quick and convenient meals. Non-carbonated juices and drinks, like your morning orange juice, they've surged by 16.3%. Wow, way up. Candy and chewing gum, up 11.1%. Margarine, 11.3%. Are you seeing a connection here? Everything we've mentioned so far is stuff that's not good for you. I'm even going to argue orange juice. I mean, orange juice, yeah, it has lots of vitamins in, it, in there, but the, the amount of sugars in orange juice, especially the orange juice you get from the grocery store, full of sugars. It's really not as good, as for, you, good for you as you think it is. In fact, the rest of the stuff in this list, forget it. We shouldn't be prepping it anyway. Apples, here's one that's decent. Apples and other fresh fruits have gone up 7.5% due to increased shipping cost and higher oil prices, not to mention labor shortages. And finally, number seven, processed foods. So I'm going to argue, with the exception of apples and fresh fruits have gone up, all the rest of this stuff really shouldn't be stuff you have on your list anyway. Notice earlier I talked about the quick and convenient snacks. That's what we're looking at for everything on this list, except for, well, practically speaking, apples. Quick and convenience is what modern America, even the modern world, is looking for. I want to throw a TV dinner in there and off I go. Processed foods are like the worst thing. You should, you should not have any processed foods on your prepping list anyway. So what's the solution here? Because it comes down to, you know what, we've seen an increase in all these items. Granted, we've seen an inflationary increase in most items, if not all of them. But these items specifically are really bad for you. And if anything, you should really shift your mindset and stay away from this list again, except for maybe apples, and go with things that are basically wholesome, whole foods, really good for you ingredients, and stockpile those anyway. All right, so moral of the story is the inflation of these items doesn't really hurt me so much. I'd rather stockpile other stuff, but overall, we're seeing inflation going up again anyway. And again, you have to understand, coming into this fall and this winter, it is going to get rough. We're going to see higher inflation, much higher prices. It's starting all over. Well, it never finished, but it's starting all over again. And we need to be prepared. We need to prepare it the right way and get the things we need to before the inflation goes up even more. Because what costs a buck now? Maybe $1.25 or $1.50 this fall or winter. So keep stockpiling, my friends, and keep prepping.